Hey everyone, so in today's video, we're gonna talk about DC battery operated fence controllers. So, uh, I have a fence charger, this is what this is, and this is gonna go in a box, and it's gonna power my pig fence. So right now I have a DC, um, a DC solar one, and it's a .1 joule, and this is a one joule, so this one's 10 times stronger. So, recently my pigs have, have started escaping my two strand wire fence and uh, I'll show you guys a, a, a little picture of that here in a minute but um, I need to make a stronger one and that's what I'm going to do. Now this one's not going to be DC, it's going to be DC but it's going to be charged via just taking the battery out and charging it via the wall. So I have this little uh, trickle charger here and this is what I'm going to use to charge batteries. I have two batteries, I got these at Walmart for 25 bucks plus a core charge. So about 30, 30 to 40 bucks total on your taxes. And then I got this case, battery case, also about one more, for about five to ten dollars. It's also on Amazon. I bought one on Amazon a while ago and I just never got around to using it. And then I saw one of these and I got that. And then this is the most expensive thing right here. This is probably about a hundred to to two hundred dollars depending on where you get it. So this is gonna be what controls the um, shock on your fence. So let's go ahead and we're going to temporarily install this and put it together and then I'm going to later on in the video I'm going to make a much better much better one that's just more secure and bolted in there waterproof and everything. So right now this is going to be waterproof this is going to be a, a box put together. So let's let's go ahead and see what we can do here. I'm going to just throw the battery in here and see how it fits. Doesn't really fit that way. It fits that way. Okay. So, and then we're going to toss this in here. And I'm going to use this thing right here to hold this down, I believe. You know, I'm going to put this one upside down to make it easier to get to these. Because this is what your fence controller, you're going to have wires coming out of here and out of the box that go and clip onto your fence. I also bought a little case of alligator clips. And we're going to use those and see how that comes out. So this is kind of handy to have this. I'm just going to hold this up like this, put it in here, and then drop it in. It's all plastic, so it should be fine. It holds in there pretty well. Let's see if this thing will shut before I hook it up. And it does. Pretty good. Uh, I wouldn't call this waterproof, but it's pretty it's pretty close. We'll have to caulk up some joints and stuff like that to see. It's got some vent holes up here, so definitely need to fill in those if we're gonna try to make this waterproof. We're also gonna drill some holes in the bottom of it once I get to the final iteration on this, just to make sure if any water condensation does get in here, it has a place to drain. So right now, it came with these, these um, plants. We're gonna hook this up. So, He's not, he even has a little plus sign here, so positive, you know, I'm sure the other one has a negative sign. So let's pull this out. I don't want to shock myself. All right, we're going to hook the negative up to the negative and the positive to the positive. And this light right here should come on. So this light should come on if this is working. I assume so. I haven't tested this out yet. Yeah, you can hear it clicking. That means it's sh shooting out a jewel every, you know, two seconds or so. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that, but it is clicking. All right, let's take this off. Yeah, that's good. This is a nice one. And then we'll just kind of wrap it around. And drop it through. This one. Oh, 
I think it turned out really well actually. So we're gonna leave it like that for now. And we're gonna go ahead and drop it in here. We're gonna hook up. To make this fancier, what we could do is hook up uh, like an on off switch between the positive here or the negative, doesn't matter. Put it on the outside of the box and you have an on off switch and you never have to open up the box. Also, um, what I plan on doing eventually, what I plan on doing eventually is hooking up one of these charging ports right here to the outside so that I can just use these little 12 volt charge D, uh, AC to DC chargers. These are nine millimeter. I can use these to just easy plug in. Now I converted this on my kids on all of their uh, toys, their little ride along things, their battery operated uh, big wheels, whatever you want to call them, to, to that so that they can charge them themselves. Because before it's it's like a peg prego. There's one down there too. There's a it's it was pain. They couldn't do it themselves. It was I could barely do it. So for the time being though, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use this. And this will work just fine. The same thing as that, just instead of having a a nine millimeter plug at the end of it, it has two alligator clips. All right, so let's uh, let's just we're not gonna hook this up right now because I don't want to get shocked on the way out there. So I'm just gonna tuck everything in here. We're gonna put this lid on, and I'm gonna walk it on out there and see if uh, we're gonna test it and see if it, see how good it works. Okay, so we're gonna test this out real quick. I'll show you guys what we're working with now. All right, so I had some wind noise. I had to go ahead and record over this because it was pretty bad. Right now, I'm just gonna be testing the solar char fence controller, and it's at a 7.5. And then we're gonna compare th that result with what we get on the one we just built. So now I'm just hooking up to the fence here and we're going to use the same grounding rod that the solar one is hooked up to. Now we have two strand uh, electric tape I guess is what you would call it and it's worked out great. We haven't had any issues with the pigs. They're probably about 200 to 250 pounds and shocks enough to keep them away and they stay in there. and. We rotate them a little bit on, on pasture and works great. So now I'm going to go ahead and compare this and uh, we end up maxing out our, our our tester. It ended up getting up to I think 9.9 .9. and uh, I'd say it was a success. Now again this thing's not waterproof. Uh, this is kind of just like uh, me make it in a concept here and uh, worked out pretty good if you like watching you know videos about homesteading and pigs and chickens and mowing my lawn and all that stuff uh, go ahead and, and subscribe if, if, this, if you like this video hit the like button helps me out a lot alright thanks for watching